Guys, Oddstarver challenged me to play versus his killer showcase Swift. And you already saw the video where I showcased the potential that the twins have versus that Swift. If you haven't, there's the link to the video. Go check it out. However, I also wanted to showcase the potential that the Trickster had, specifically because the Dead by Daylight community are fairly negative about their release, and Oddstarver himself even says he's one of the weakest killers. So, in this video, I'll be playing versus Oddstarver's Killer Showcase Swift once more to showcase the potential of the Trickster. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. We are pushing for 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and you can be part of that journey. Please help me out. I'd appreciate it. A quick note before we get into the gameplay. I do feel like I wasn't playing at my best in this game. You can even tell by how unenergetic I am in my commentary that I'm really just focusing up because I'm tired and I want to try and sweat it out a little bit, but I don't necessarily make the best decisions in the moment. I feel like my decision making was the real key factor in this gameplay that you're about to watch. And if I was just a little bit more on top of that, it could have been a very different game. But here it is. I wanted to showcase it anyways. Enjoy. All right, here we go. So Wrecker's Yard is a great map for killer. It's really small and easy to control, like the gen spread. Uh, but it doesn't look small. It doesn't feel small to the survivors. So from that perspective, it's great. Hold up. What feels like Wrecker's Yard this is probably a very decent map, as good as it gets. It's relatively open. Loops are medium height. Not not the biggest amount of buildings and jungle gyms. If I was this uh, this this survivor here, I would have turned around immediately. They got some pretty good jungle gems, really unfortunate. So what I did there was I abused the fact that they're on comms to my advantage. By uh, getting them to say, hey, I'm being chased, essentially. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this pallet real quick. Oh, I get a free attack, I guess. Basically, I, I go towards the Felix and say, hi, Felix. I switch to the Feng. The Feng goes on me. Felix runs through, rushes out. And then I've uh, now got Felix down. And now we've got uh, Basement Shack straight off the bat. Um, the add-on to as follows. She's got the Fist Spin Soda. This makes um, the time between knives shorter right as you begin. Typically, you need to... Uh, you need to throw a few knives before it really picks up speed. With this add-on, you begin much quicker. As if you had already thrown several knives. Oh, that is a great spot for him. Uh, the USB um, add-on is much, much simpler. Oh my god! A stun out of his uh, power. He's running out of, uh, of knives now. The USB stick is very simple. Basically, you require one fewer knife to down survivors. We'll take the ninja state and make sure that they're not getting the unhook for free. I'm assuming borrowed time. Aim for the Felix, not the Feng, because of our time. That was absolutely dirty. That's like a save us for last play. Now we have Pop instead of Ruin. Can I show why Bamboozle is good on him? I'm just using it for Shack, literally. Just to get rid of uh, Shack window when we play around uh, the basement. Give me Shack Pallet, please. I have pop. He has no DS now. I have main event. Let's uh, use it. She's uh, in a bad spot here. Cool. So we'll take the extra hook here. Unless she gets insta healed. She's that pallet. I think we're fine here. Alright. I walked past to see if anyone would run off that window. We're in a great spot now for uh, shutting this game down. I have to expect them to come from different directions, but I don't know if they will. DS. 
lacerated with DS. <laughs> we have to assume that this is a deliverance into uh, DS, so we'll just leave her on the floor for that reason. We probably just go for the locker play. Maybe not. <laughs> DS can only be used so many times, right? <laughs> I think this is his DS time. Don't be wrong. That's a mistake. Unfortunate DS there. What I should have done, I think, is I should have taken his DS immediately um, and then uh, downed him with the max laceration. That was the play. I made a mistake. Just having two survivors with DS at the same time is just a bit rough. Do I have a 3 gen that I'm protecting? Not really. This is a bit of a mistake. That's a mistake to run through. I would have pre-dropped that, believe it or not. Should be a survivor in this gen. <laughs> there he is. That's a bit of a shame that we missed that. Just go for the basic attack in just a second. And then we'll hook the thing. She's just rock teching me because she can. <laughs> kind of bullshit, but it is how how all survivors work. Versus 110s. <laughs> Running a killer that's 110 around the block is a national sport in some countries. Felix is healed. Let's reload. So this near needs to rush for rescue, I think. It's even better. Felix went for it. That's death. <laughs> take him a little bit inland so we can take uh, out this pallet here. Out uh, this gen over here. That's a lot of pressure. One for us here. I mean for a straight line. <laughs> oh shit, they might actually be ready to go. We have to focus on the thing over here. Oh, I'm actually out of knives. What the heck? I'm so bad. I didn't even realize. Thank you. I'm trying to isolate the, uh, the near at the moment for the 3k. I don't know if I will be able to. <laughs> the Exegates are great for 3k. Not good for uh, the survivors or Hatch, but it's good considering the scenario we're in. Because we can't get to 4k anymore. <laughs> Hatches by the bus. I'm sure they've just communicated that.
It wasn't this exit gate they opened, was it? That's crazy, if so. Oh, it might actually be. I am fucking anxious as fuck! Oh my god! Oh, she got it. That's crazy. Did you... Oh, you probably threw like some knives down the hatch and killed them as they were going home. I played that poorly. The DS uh, really hurt me. I don't know what the perk setups are. Are they all using unique perks? Oh, they are. I didn't realize they were all using unique perks. Oh no, they're not. There's two DS, uh, two borrow times. So because of that, I assumed that Deliverance would also have DS. They would have double DS, but they didn't have double DS, you know? That was crazy, dude. That was crazy. Now, mind you, unfortunately, even though there's higher rarity add-ons, there's really nothing better to run on this killer. This, I think, might just be the best add-ons on him. Uh, some other things to consider, but I, I think they might just be. So, great showcase of the potential of this killer. Uh, I think that if I played the DS lottery better with the Trickster, I would have got the 4K there. Uh, I didn't realize that they didn't all have DS. I just assumed they did. And as it worked out, the Fang with Deliverance didn't have DS, the Felix did. So if I had just picked up the, the Fang immediately, I would have had them. But you can see the potential of the Trickster there. I just misplayed one scenario and then allowed them to uh, to, to work generators for, for pretty free. Uh, but GG's to the Otter's uh, 4K Swift. That was a lot of fun.